Hi, a warm welcome to you. So, I'll be publishing series of videos on geometry, starting with points, lines, triangles, and quadrilaterals, uh, CBSE 10 syllabus. And uh, to start with, um, and this videos mostly will be not more than 10 minutes. I'll start with geometry. As part of geometry, we'll be going through points lines. So let's see what's geometry. Geometry or geometry. Geo is earth. Metry is measurement. So geometry is measurement of earth, and we know. Earth is of objects or we call them as layman language things and things have size and shape. So something like size, a small circle, big circle, shape, different shapes, triangle, this, a quadrilateral, it's a parallelogram or you can have a cube or you can have a pyramid something like this ok so that's about the geometry so as part of that this videos will be covering starting with points then we'll see lines then we'll see angles and we'll go through the triangles and quadrilaterals and we'll be covering syllabus till CBSC 10th class and uh, we'll start with points okay what exactly is a point points and lines so let me just write it here points point lines or point and line okay what's a point point is a fixed location fixed location and what fixed location uh, in space point is a fixed location in space or from a layman perspective point is a fixed location in at a particular physical location at a particular physical location on earth maybe um, some simple example is suppose somebody wants to know your address will be saying that it's next to uh, that particular hospital are near to this X school so this school hospital or the fixed location the fixed points see are uh, maybe they are existing from long time or they are so familiar that everybody can recognize it immediately so the point refers to a fixed location if you take this example whatever we have suppose let's say let's imagine that there is a seven year old kid and uh, he starts from his home he goes to his school every day in the evening he plays at the playground in vacation he goes to the grandpa's home and in weekends he goes to his friend home friend's home for playing and uh, whenever he get a chance maybe in weekends or monthly twice he'll be going to the mo movie for entertainment so if you see here whatever the whatever the points we have they are all fixed locations like school is fixed playground is fixed it's constant so point is a fixed location in space suppose I have a point like this we have a point and I have another point it can be somewhere anywhere in this particular right okay plane so if I have two points then I can create a line I can join them and I can create a line if I have two points I can create a line any two points you can create a line okay and uh, then let's see what's how actually we will give the notation of the lines so we will see what is line segment we'll see what is line and we'll see what is ray 
let's take this simple example whatever we have the kid starts from home and goes to the movie complex okay so he knows that he has to start from home and he has to go to the movie complex and he's stopping at the movie complex so he knows his starting point he knows his ending point so when you know your starting point and ending point you will be referring it as a line segment so line segment is actually a part of line on which you know your starting point and your ending point let's see here what is ray ray means actually where you know the starting point and you don't know the ending point so suppose you are starting at your grandpa's home and you are going in this direction for maybe let me say something like around 100 miles or 300 kilometers you don't know exactly where you are going but you know the direction you don't know where it's going to end so ray let's say suppose this is d a d ray what exactly we mean by that is ray has a one definite end point either it can be starting or it can be ending and in the other direction it's infinite so i can say that e f is a segment from f onward suppose let me say this is g i can say that f g is a ray i know my starting point but i don't know i don't know where it's ending but it's going in this direction similarly in the other way also suppose you say this as l suppose this point as l you are going in the direction of d and l you don't know where you are going to where you are going to end up but you know your starting point so when you know your when you know one end either the starting or ending and you don't know in the other direction then you will be calling it as a ray you will be calling it as a ray when you know your starting point and ending point something like ab where you are starting from home and going to the movie or you are going starting from your playground and you are going to your school you will be calling them as line segments and suppose suppose i say that i am on a line which goes from my home to my grandpa's home what exactly i mean i'm saying that i am on i'm i'm not actually referring to the segment i'm saying that i am on this particular line where these two points are there and they are going in the indefinitely so this particular segment i can extend it in this direction so that actually you can make it as infinite in one direction so then it becomes a ray because you are starting from here and you are going in this infinite direction so the line is infinite in both the directions let's say this line we are referring to cg let us say c g so c g are two points or also i can say it as e f that means e f are two points and the line is line is actually infinite in both the directions so that's the difference between the line line segment and ray one important point we have to remember is the line is infinite in both the direction depending on the context or your interest you will be you will be picking a particular points maybe two points or three points if the all the three points are in the same line we will be calling them as collinear they all share one line that means they all are part of one line so and also from this example we can see that these lines whatever we have created lines are nothing but collection of points or the joining of more two points these you can see they are not in one particular way they can be horizontal they can be vertical or they can be slant so the lines can be horizontal vertical or slant and also you can see that these two lines and if you see these lines they are actually a close or open how close or how open 
these lines or these line segments are actually these rays sometimes can be rays or it's a line segment you calculate them with the help of angles so angles indicates how open or how close are the lines in the next video we'll be covering the angles types of angles and the relation between angles in different scenarios so that's about the starting point of geometry start with a point a point is a fixed location in space and line is a collection of points and line is infinite in both directions depending on your area of contrast context or your interest you will be picking up a line segment or a ray that's about for now see you in the next video thank you bye bye